Hello and welcome to another tech video on this channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to build and deploy a Java web application using Jenkins and Maven on a Tomcat server. Before we begin, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Ajit. I work as a cloud and DevOps architect with one of the leading cloud consulting companies in India. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. The username is mentioned here. So this is the sample demo pipeline that we are going to deploy. This is just a basic pipeline which I wanted to demonstrate for beginners. Moving forward, I will create more complex and touchless deployments in the coming future. As a first step, the DevOps engineer will log into the console. Once logged in, the pipeline will be triggered by pressing the build now button. After that, the code will be checked out from the GitHub repository on the Jenkins slave machine. Once code is downloaded, it will run a maven install command and generate a war file in the Jenkins workspace. And finally, the war will be deployed on the Tomcat server and we should be able to access the web app from the browser. This is the infra setup that we have on AWS to execute and deploy a Java web app. On the left hand side, we have the Jenkins master and the slave setup where we will run our builds. And on the right hand side, we have the Apache Tomcat server where our war files will be deployed. I have already covered the Jenkins master slave architecture in one of my previous videos. I'll mention the video here in the i button as well as in the description. Let's quickly jump into the AWS console and see the infrastructure. As seen earlier in the diagram, we have the Jenkins master, Jenkins slave and the Tomcat web app server. We already have the Jenkins master up and running with no builds. Apache Tomcat server is also installed and ready to accept war file deployments. This is the GitHub repository where I have kept all the source code. I'll provide the link to this repository in the description. Let's browse through each and every file in the repo for our understanding. Under the source slash main folder, we have couple of folders that is Java and web app. Under the Java folder, we have the hello.java file which contains the code for the hello servlet. Under the web app folder, we will see index.jsp as well as the web-inf folder. In the index.jsp, we have some sample HTML content. And in the web-inf folder, we have a web.xml file which contains the mapping for the URL pattern and the corresponding servlet. In the root of the repo, we have Jenkins file and the pom.xml file. We will discuss the contents of the Jenkins file during the pipeline creation part of this video. Now let's go to the EC2 console. Select the Jenkins slave server. Choose the connect button. Copy the SSH connection string. Open the terminal and log in to the slave machine. Once logged in, we will run the commands to install Apache Maven on the Jenkins slave instance. I will mention the link to the installation guide in the description. First, let's add the repository with a maven package. Enter the version number for the packages. Then you can use yum to install maven. Apart from Maven, we will also install Java on the slave instance. We will also require git to be installed on the Jenkins slave instance to execute git commands. Enter the following to set Java 8 as the default runtime on your EC2 instance. Now 
enter the following to set java 8 as the default compiler on your ec2 instance now let's move on to the setup of jenkins slave choose setup an agent from the dashboard i'm entering the name as jenkins hyphen slave select type as permanent agent and choose create i'm keeping the description same as the name remote root directory i'm keeping it as slash home slash ec2 user keeping the label same as the name this will be used at a later stage in the pipeline keeping usage as default launch method i am changing it to launch agents via ssh for host name i'll grab the jenkins slave private ip from the aws console i will add the new credentials to store the private key for the instance under kind let's select ssh username and private key let's enter the id as jenkins slave credentials keeping the description same as the id username will be easy to user choose enter directly for private key and paste the private key contents and choose the add button select the credentials we just created for this demo i am keeping the verification strategy as non verifying strategy you may choose as per your requirement and finally click save under the manage nodes and clouds we can see that the slave has been created let's go to that slave click on log we can see that the agent is successfully connected and online let's go back to the nodes and we can see that the jenkins slave is in sync before we begin creating the project and the pipeline we would require some plugin so let's go to manage jenkins click on manage plugins select the available tab in the search box type container we have to choose the deploy to container plugin and click install without restart we can see that the plugin installation is in progress this plugin will be used to deploy war files on the tomcat server we will see couple of methods to create ci cd projects in jenkins one is the freestyle project method and the other one is the declarative pipeline method so let's start with the freestyle project method now let's go back to the dashboard click new item i am adding java hyphen maven hyphen demo hyphen freestyle as the project name and click on okay here we can see multiple options like discard old builds github project and some others for now i am interested in the restrict where this project can be run option enter the label expression as the jenkins slave id that we had created in the previous step under scm choose git copy the repository url from github as this is a public repository i am not adding any credentials for now under the branch specifier i'll update it as main to keep it simple i am not adding any build triggers for now let's add a build step i'll select invoke top level maven targets under goals i'll enter clean install also let's add a post build action to deploy war to a container enter star star slash star dot war add a context path of your choice i'm adding freestyle hyphen web app under the containers select tomcat 9 as we have installed tomcat 9 version to authenticate jenkins on tomcat we will need to add credentials 
let's keep all the other values as default under username i am adding admin i am also entering the password these credentials have been mentioned in the tomcat-users.xml file during the installation i am keeping the id as tomcat credentials copy the same in the description and click add choose the credential we have just created before we proceed let me quickly show you where these credentials are configured at the tomcat end i have logged into the tomcat server via ssh i am inside the conf folder under the list of files you will see tomcats-user.xml let me open that file I have added the role manager hyphen script mapped the same under the user admin. By doing this, you will allow your Jenkins to deploy onto the Tomcat server via scripts. Now let's jump back to the Jenkins console and continue with the next steps. For the Tomcat URL, go to the EC2 console and grab the private IP for the web app server and paste it and add http colon slash slash at the beginning let's quickly verify whether all the settings are as per our expectations and click on save Let's try to execute it by clicking on the build now button. We can see here on the left hand side that the build has been triggered. Let's go to that build and access the console output. Here we can see that it is performing all the steps mentioned in the project. And at the end we see a success message. Now let's go to the Tomcat web console. Select the manager app. Here we see freestyle web app as part of the applications. Let's click that and we see the output of the JSP file. In the URL, let me add hello to see whether we can access the servlet. This mapping was mentioned in the web XML file of the web inf folder. So we have completed the deployment using the freestyle project method. Now let's see using the declarative pipeline method. Let's go to the Jenkins console. Click new item. Enter the name of the pipeline of your choice. Choose pipeline. Under the pipeline section, choose pipeline from SCM. Go to GitHub and copy the repository URL and paste it here. We don't need any credentials as this repository is public. Change the branch to main. Let me validate the Jenkins file name. It's Jenkins file with small j. Let me update that under the script path. Let's quickly validate whether the pipeline is set up as expected. And click on save. Let me open the Jenkins file. Here you see the three stages. The code checkout stage. The build stage and the deploy stage. The code checkout stage is commented because the source code is getting checked out within the pipeline configuration itself as we have chosen pipeline script from SCM. If you select the pipeline script option, 
you can add the contents of the pipeline here i'll talk about this later but let's proceed for now and hit the build now button the code is checked out and the maven build is underway and finally the war has been deployed let's go to the pipeline and see the stage view here you see declarative checkout scm it comes from here and the build and the deploy stages comes from the jenkins file let me show you how you can have an inline jenkins file as well go to pipeline definition select pipeline script copy the contents of the jenkins file uncomment the code checkout stage block this way you should be able to run your pipeline inline let me reset it to pipeline from scm let's go to the tomcat console to check the deployment we can see here that the pipeline app has been deployed successfully let me click on that and validate we can see the hello world message from the jsp let's also try to access the hello servlet so we are done with deploying war file on tomcat using jenkins freestyle as well as pipeline methods based on your requirement you can choose either of one thanks for watching till the end i have planned an entire series on ci cd pipelines in the coming future so please stay tuned if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thanks once again and take care